hi guys thank you so much for coming back to my channel and watching my previous video i know it's kind of boring but i just wanted to like put out on the table like who i was before i started to make any like more like fun content um so today i'm going to be doing a story time i'm not sure if that's what you guys want but i'm going to be doing a story time of the time that i was on a hunting show so in my previous video i forgot to include that i and like really involved with the outdoors and it's like a really big part of my life don't know how i forgot to say that but i did so that's what i'm going to be talking about today just a disclaimer before we get into all of the good stuff um i know that there's like a lot of people that are against hunting and i totally respect it and i understand Personally, I know hunting is different for everybody and the reason that you hunt is different But I think a majority of us can say that like we don't hunt because we hate the animals We hunt to get to see the animals interact. It's really cool You're like super close. So they can't even like tell that you're there and it's just like super cool because you feel like you're like with the animals that kind of sounds weird, but it's super cool to be able to see how they interact with each other and how they interact like when they see people and I feel like you can just get like so much knowledge just from like sitting back in nature and just watching how it all interacts with each other and let it run its course. So I don't hunt because I hate animals. I actually hunt because I love animals and I know that they are here for us to be able to reap their benefits and harvest them and it's also really healthy for you. So um when you like kill a deer or an antelope or something it is literally like the most organic meat you can get antelope and deer eat literally like grass and like corn and beans that and whenever you kill an animal yourself you know like how it's being killed because i know there's a lot of controversy with like slaughterhouses for like pigs and cows and whatever and there being some like serious like cruel ways that they kill the animals so when i kill an animal myself i know what i'm doing to it and if it's gonna drop right there because in my house we don't we don't go hunting unless our bows are sighted in and we've been practicing because we don't want to injure any animals and have an injured animal on our hands or off our hands and it's gonna go die and have all these issues later on in life so we don't in my house we don't do that we always have to have a clean shot and when you have a clean shot you know that the animal's not in any pain and they just drop right there i can assure you that every time that me and my family go hunting and i know this goes for a lot of other hunters too but i can't speak for them all because there's poachers but whenever we go hunting and we harvest an animal we use all of their um their resources that they provide us like we use all the meat we even take the heart and cook that up because heart is actually pretty good it's not like my, i wouldn't like eat it like cut it open and eat it every day but it's not bad i just eat a hot dog but anyway, so we use all of our benefits. We keep the hide, um, depending on the animal, like my dad with his elk, he kept the hide and we made purses, gloves, we made everything. We use all the benefits and we don't do it because we hate the animals. We do it because we love the animals and out of respect for them, we kill them in the cleanest way possible. So enough of the serious talk, let's get into the whole point of this video. I went out to Wyoming with um, this place that I'm really involved with, I was on the archery team and I worked there over the summers doing their summer camps. It's called On Target Outfitters. It's a really good program. It's based in Canfield, Ohio, and now they have like a Finley campus. Um, I actually think it might be like Pandora or Finley, something like that. So um, I went out with that group, I guess. Um, my dad went out too. So we went out and we got to the place where we were going to be staying at like the hunting cabin and this is with the life at table mountain it's on the sportsman channel so that's the show that i was on but it's the denny family they're really great people um while we were there they like cooked for us everything was great and it was a short stay because we all tagged out on the second day so um we got there and i didn't really know if i was going to be on tv or not so then they told me at like dinner they're like so we're going to send the cameraman with you tomorrow and i was like okay sounds good and I was excited but I was a little nervous because I don't want to miss so the first whole day we did not see any bucks like there were only does that came in and so that was very 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 long say it was from like six in the morning until like 6 p.m and 
I literally had to pee so bad and I couldn't go because I was so scared that the second I got up to pee that there would be an antelope and I wouldn't be able to shoot it. Although I could have ended up peeing because I didn't even see anything. Even though we literally didn't see anything, I got to talking with my cameraman, Kelly, and he is so awesome. And he was talking to me about his job and like all the things that he does. And I was so intrigued because I had been going back and forth with what majors I wanted to do in college. And this was going into my senior year. So I'm, time's ticking, like let's start to choose. At that point in time, I was like business marketing and sales. That was what my major was gonna be. And clearly, um, I guess you guys don't know, but clearly it would not be a good thing for me. Like I don't know what's going on in my head. So then after talking to him, I got it all figured out and I used to want to be a broadcast journalism major when I was like a freshman but after talking to him I was like you know what like I could totally see myself doing this and it'd be super cool if I could like work in the outdoor industry one day so after I was done in Wyoming I kind of was thinking the whole entire way back which was a very long drive we have to go. I was thinking and I was like you know I think I should change my major to broadcast journalism so I did but that's not the whole point of the story. I got into the blind the second day after we had just found my dad's um, antelope that he had shot the night before, but it ran away. Typically, that's what happens when you shoot them kind of far. Actually, I'm not even sure if he shot it very far away, but they usually run off and we just let them go die. And it was getting late, so we just waited till the morning. Um, and the meat wasn't spoiled or anything um, because it was pretty cool still for some reason it was really cool but um yeah so that morning we had just gotten my dad's antelope we tracked it down um with the blood trail and we picked that up so i was like really excited i'm like okay it's my turn so i sat in the exact same blind that he sat in and um two hours in i think we um had a, a few antelope come in and it was really cool to like watch them and so there were two bucks and there was one that was bigger than the other and it had crooked like prongs and I just thought it was so cool so I wanted that one <laughs> so I I actually was like explaining this on my show that I was on and I was like I tried to grab my bow like not too fast but still fast enough that I wouldn't be able to miss it I literally like sprinted to get my bow like I was like so I tried to act like I was like playing it cool, but I was not playing it cool, clearly. And I didn't realize that I wasn't playing it cool until I watched the show and I was like, yeah, not too quick. Um, but yeah, so then I shot the antelope and I really didn't have the best shot, which I was kind of mad at myself for, but the antelope wasn't in too much pain. So I shot it and it um, paralyzed the antelope so it didn't run away or anything. So that was really good. Um, I shot it on like the back, the top of the back, which you're supposed to shoot it like down more, but I shot at the top of the back and it paralyzed it instantly. And then I got out, my cameraman fell. It was really interesting. We had a really good time. And I was like, oh my gosh, are you okay? And he goes, shoot it, shoot it. And I was like, oh yeah, that's what I'm doing. I was so worried about him. I didn't want to like, I didn't want him to be hurt. So I shot it again. And then I shot it in like the perfect spot and it was dead, so. Yeah, my dad came with um, the daughter of the people that own the show, and um, her name's Kinley. We got it all figured out. She's like super cool. She gutted the antelope right there, and there's like a special way that you have to do it. It's not like how you cut um, gut a deer. So she's got it like all down. She's really cool. And yeah, so that was my experience on hunting show and how it influenced me to do a broadcast journalism major. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, sorry if this was boring. I keep doing sit down videos, but if you have any ideas, just like let me know. Shoot me a DM on Insta, comment. You don't know, like, I mean, I don't know what you'll do, but yeah, so just let me know what you want and I'll give it to you.